What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Nomus J in the building. Uh, Detroit Pistons can go ahead today and officially make it official, inking down Derrick Rose, uh, two years for fifteen million dollars. Uh, you know they finally got the guy they wanted. Remember they they did come out and say they were, both sides are motivated to getting a deal done. Uh, I'm kind of in I'm in the middle about it. I like that we got him. Uh, this is probably the most realistic point guard. That I gotta say we have had for Andre in a while. Uh, Reggie Jackson's still here. I'm not sure exactly how they're gonna do this with them because they still got a lot of young guards. But like I said yesterday in my video, there's pros and cons to having Derrick Rose here. One is the injury. The one of the cons, main cons about him is the injury problem. Outside the injury problem, he's not really the worst player you can get at all. This guy's a former uh, MVP for a reason. Uh, this guy's tough, man. Uh, a leader, man. The mind guy type guy you want to close out the game for you, man. Because this guy can be so clutch. And that's the thing about D Rose, man. You know, if it wasn't for the health, he'd be still a top five player right now. Definitely. Um, you know, he's a better point guard overall than Reggie. But at the end of the day, Reggie, I think, you know, he's been under injury history. Reggie still has more chemistry to start lineup. So I'm not sure how this will work. Uh, then you got, like I said, you got so many young guys behind him. It's, it's crazy. Uh, we got to get rid of Langston Galloway. We got to free up some more money. Definitely. If it's a way we can move him without hurting ourselves, man, I will take him out of here in a heartbeat. You know what I'm saying? I think this uh, team now has outgrown what he's here what that we need him for. You know, so I feel because, you know, they didn't pick up GR3's uh, team player option, which uh, was about $4.2 million, so thank God they didn't do that. And that's probably why they was able to open up and come with this deal. I mean, both sides came motivated to make this deal happen. Uh, I know guys like King, who was very excited to have uh, D-Rose. He stated many times as his favorite player. But then on the flip side, you got guys like Man Beast and uh, Ray and all them uh, uh, who may be a little bit indifferent about it, not too happy due to the injury reasons. It's not his ability. It's more of his injury. They have it, probably have an issue with, and I can understand that. That's that is kind of a big thing. He only played maybe 50 percent or so of the season last year, but he when he was playing, he was looking like he was going to be MVP of the year again. Man, he looked great. But uh, you know, what I'm saying, I mean, we'll see what happens with it. Uh, definitely. Uh, this would be the first realistic point guard we've had here in Detroit since Andre's been around, man. Since probably Will Bynum, maybe Brandon Jennings. Uh, they can actually get the best out of Andre. I feel like this guy come close to it. Uh, maybe they'll manage his minutes. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, a lot of crazy deals been going on today. Involving, uh, you know, like, like yesterday I heard Clay Thompson is staying with Golden State for $190 million. Uh, Dane might have got, uh, uh, got an extension for nearly $200 million as well. Uh, rumor has it Kyrie is going to be signing with the Nets for 140 million. Uh, KD will be joining for nearly 170, uh, possibly. And then Kemba is rumored had to be signing with the uh, Boston Celtics for 100, uh, about 140. So I'm not sure if these deals have been made officially, but it's been a lot of crazy contracts going out here today, man. Uh, definitely a lot of crazy contracts. I, I sometimes I don't understand the money. That these teams be offering these players and these players be allowing themselves to take. Do y'all not know that a lot of these teams will throw you in the trash, man, once you get an injury and they ain't gonna wanna pay y'all, man. I feel like some some of these guys need to take uh lesser year deals, man, so they can, you know, get more money if they can. And, you know, preserve their body so if you go do this uh money hunt for the contracts and opt out. You gotta be careful. Uh definitely. Uh so I know, again, Pistons fan base may be divided on Derrick Rose. You got a lot of happy fans. Probably got some not feeling good, but I'm not uh, mad about it. But I'm not overjoyed either. But we'll just see what happens with him, how he fits, and how he'll play. Uh, like I said, this type of guy you want in the last few minutes of the game, man, shooting the ball for you. This guy is reliable when it comes to closing out the game for you, man. That, that That's definitely his leadership. I'm happy for him, man. You know, Derrick Rose is a decent, more than decent guy, man. Uh, so hopefully that Detroit's uh, bond can uh, come in. And at worst kind of scenario, man, we do got Ernie Candor. But, man, y'all leave in the comment section how you feel about it, man. If you support the uh, trade, if you hate it, tell me why. If you love it, tell me why. Be smart about it. Be respectful. Uh, it's your boy, Nomus J, man. In the building, shout out to DSA. I'm out. Peace.